so excited for Claudia and Soren finally to meet up with everyone. I've been waiting for this moment. I just got cliffhangered again. <laughs> Chapter 2, Half Moon Lies. Whoa. I've just never attacked someone who's sleeping before. Hey, good guy Soren. Interesting. I was expecting something to intervene. I'm like kind of pleasantly surprised that Soren backed off. One. use this lovely rose to help me stay awake. That's what that was, I was wondering. I thought Claudia had her like pick a rose as part of the magic. <laughs> Are we gonna fight or is this a talent show? A bit of both. Yeah, you just woke up the beast. Awesome. The action's like a lot better this season so far. I'm noticing the Amaya fight and now this. I keep telling people. Well, he won. The leg is not a thing in sword fight. <laughs> That's perfect. So I think that scene was handled so well. Like first of all, there was no DS Ex Machina. It's just Soren had a crisis of conscience, which is which is way more satisfying. Also, I think their relative skill levels and power is done in such a way that it complements each other nicely. We've seen Soren kick ass before. We know he's a badass warrior. We also know Rayla is like athlete of the world. So for them to be evenly matched, it like somehow enhances both of them. It's just really cool because it validates our feelings about their power so far. But also it's sort of like you can't help but feel like maybe there's a respect that can grow there as warriors, you know, because that's something that Soren values. I have a close friend who the first time we ever met, we had a fight. And we're like brothers now because afterwards we shook hands. There was no bad blood. I got my ass kicked in case you're wondering. And now weirdly we had a shared emotional experience. <laughs> I know that's strange. But Rayla and Soren just sort of became peers in some way. Stop! You're not enemies. Your friends tried to she kill kidnapped you. threw mud in my <laughs> face and put gun in my mouth. Soren's right. That's messed up. She's an elf. But a good elf. What do you mean, but a good elf? <laughs> oh no. If in the morning I can't convince you that we're all on the same side here, you can fight each other then. Agreed? Yes. Fine. This is what I wanted. Fine. Yes. That was very confident, Callum. Oh yeah? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Even though your hair's a little messy. Don't believe it. This is another illusion. She's playing you. Maybe there is something there. Not romantically, but, you know, like a big sister thing. I'll give Claudia the benefit of the doubt on this one. Good morning. Hi, uh... I assume. Oh, poor Gwen. Come to think of it, I, I have no idea what time of day it is. Good whatever time it is. I hope we get to see him drag the mirror back up the spiral staircase. That would just make my life. Today is a special day, mystery mirror. It is the day you reveal your secrets to me. You okay, Viren? <laughs> I feel like Viren learned from experience and like has given up on trying to take the mirror back to the original room. This is just the mirror room now, formerly the elf dungeon. Uh. <laughs> You're overthinking it. Last time we saw her, you chained her to a wall. Plus, oh, yeah. you stole her primal stone. And then, then broke it. you broke her primal stone. Yeah, yeah, but how does my hair look? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Who are you trying to impress anyway? Claudia? <laughs> what? what? She must have bitten them, and now they both have moon shadow madness. Where did you hear about that? Camp? Aw, so cute. We need to butter them up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the writing is way better in this episode. Is it real? Is it grubs again? What happened to the egg? You'll understand in a second. Because of the hearts, I thought she was going to say kawaii. Oh, it's a baby dragon. <laughs> hey, you. We need to butter them up. 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 <laughs> that was a very extended echo. Your dad really misses you. Did you catch that intense look I got from the elf? I think she's into me. Ooh, that's a ship I didn't consider. 
Are we doing this? Is this where this begins? The name must already exist. It's either it's either Sorla or Raylan. Maybe it's time for my way. Punching and stuff. No. Give me one more day to convince Callum to leave with us. I know they're lying. I know because well oh, yeah. because knock knock. Tell him, tell him, no. This could all be avoided. So are you two like did I interrupt something between you and What, me and Rayla? No. This is starting. God, you can't hurt a kid, Zoran. He's just a kid. But on the other hand, if there's an accident because he's doing something dangerous and stupid, well, that's on him. This is Soren trying to reconcile this impossible dilemma he has. Because his entire framework for life and what it should be and morality is based on the world he knows and the kingdom and protecting it. And this is the first time that we know of where he's being asked to do something in conflict with that. And he's not much of like a moral thinker, but he has good instincts. And at least at some point, he really cared about Callum. So this is just like mental gymnastics trying to get around this problem rather than like, you know, look at it. Which is cool. I think this is a journey into adulthood for Claudia and Soren as well. I have an idea for something super fun, but also incredibly dangerous in which some potential accidents may occur. You said the same thing twice. Claudia, this is Lujane. She's a moon mage, an illusionist. Wow, are you an illusion yourself? Right? I am real. Huh, that's How do we exactly know? exactly what an illusion would say. Right, I'm with Claudia. I feel like Claudia is going to interpret this as a romantic encounter when it's not. I want to learn primal magic, but you have to be born with that magic inside you. <sighs> That's the great thing about dark magic. You just take creatures that are born with magic inside and squeeze mm. it out of them. That makes sense. We were born with nothing, but we still found a way to do amazing things. That's what dark magic is really all about. I'm sorry, it's just not for me. I was sure that butterfly was going to die. I call it the Slidey Sling Go Fast Rope. That is a good name. That is a good name, but we're going to keep trying. <laughs> that was the best! best. <laughs> Wait until you see the moon, Nexus. Actually, hold on. We should come back tonight after the moon rises. Great. It's a date. Don't lead him on like that. That's not nice. It's a date. No, no. Poor kid. You should go next. <laughs> yeah, really smart. So safe. You're kind of trusting Rayla right now, though. She could just kill you. He wanted there to be an accident. Wait, how do you know that? The peg was kind of loose. But I've known Soren and Claudia for years. You and I don't have that yet. This guy, I mean, art is one of his talents. Another one of his talents is always saying the wrong thing. Why does he do this? Rayla just ends up putting up with so much from him. He just, it's, he's so insensitive. What he said is perfectly reasonable if he stopped at, I've known Soren and Claudia a long time. There's no need for the extra part of that. Like, she saved your life so many times. Callum has one fake date, and he thinks he can talk to Rayla in some kind of way. Yeah, he knows he messed up, but also he's sort of trying to hide it from himself because he knows there's something up. Lejane, I need your help. If wisdom is what you seek, I shall do my best to fake it. <laughs> That's an old illusionist joke. Real trust is about accepting even the dark parts we will never know. No, no, I don't think that's right. Strong relationships need honesty. Oh, now you sound like my first three husbands. I'm glad my wisdom helped. It didn't. It was wrong. Was it? Or was it just differently true? I'm glad Rayla sort of threw that back in her face because this lady's wisdom is sort of all over the place. Although I really enjoyed the Arcanum thing last episode, I thought the thing she said about illusion and reality wasn't really that insightful, but I think her fake wisdom actually did help. I think bad advice is really useful too. Part of the benefit of seeking advice like this is just hearing how things sound when they come out of your mouth, because it's somehow different when you say it out loud to someone else, it gives you like another lens. And sometimes their bad advice is helpful because you realize just how ridiculous that side is, and you sort of come to terms with what you already knew you wanted to do. This true sight serum will strip away all illusions. Nothing! Nothing! 
Oh, you're powerless. Useless. I thought you were going to be something special. Something important. Whoa, that was a beautiful touch. He saw through his own illusion, his own facade through the mirror. I love that. There is something to that about Viren, right? Like he's sort of lost. He has a lot of self-doubt and it's got to be really difficult to feel that way when you're literally trying to take over a kingdom. Viren is the first villain I can remember seeing who has imposter syndrome. That's amazing. Again, that makes me have mixed feelings because I like seeing people succeed despite their own self-doubts. So like on some level I'm rooting for him, as strange as that is. Let it all out. <gasps> what is this place? I really love that scene. Admittedly, mirrors are terrifying. You ever try staring at yourself in a mirror? It's not easy. It's not easy. Can't hide from yourself. <laughs> I'm sure most people have had at least one of those Viren mirror moments. Did you just have your hand shadow hold my hand shadow? Did I? <laughs> Come on! Take me to see the Nexus. No, this is so dangerous. This kind of relationship. We can just be here. Without words. What? Wait, I need to tell you something. I can't believe it got that far. I was way off. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Oh no, he learned the truth. And he took know what happened. the chance away from Rayla to tell He's him. Gone. Oh no. Ah oh, man, that hurts. Ah, the dramatic tension. Claudia kind of seems like the good person here because she told him. I think I've been misreading a couple things. Like one, I definitely misread the romantic viability of, what'd you call it? Claudium? Calia? I think more broadly I've been misreading Claudia. I think I underestimated how much she actually does like Callum and Ezrin. It's not just that she's like Varian's special girl who will do his bidding at, you know, at any cost. She does have a sweet side. So I will say like the quality seems to have gone up. This is one of the episodes I've enjoyed the most. The opening scene was incredible. I love the action. And this episode was really funny. Like it hit all the right notes. And on top of that, you have plot development, and you have dramatic tension that feels right. It feels real. Although I am concerned that it's going to create like an unnecessary rift between Callum and Rayla and that's something we'll have to get through. I hope this is the direction that the season keeps going because this I really, really enjoy. But that's all for now. I'll see you guys for season two, episode three.